my new subscribers. Since I'm uh, feeling generous today, let me get plugged in here. Hold on. Today I'm going to strategies I've been working out that's going to reduce your bankroll down from my full out martingale fighting tiger style of $2,500. This is going to reduce that down to $960 and dramatically, dramatically reduce your loss exposure. So I'm not going to go into all the details about it right now. I'm just going to let you watch it. We're going to do a 10 minute session. Um, you have to watch. <laughs> Sorry, that's the way this thing works, right? Otherwise, I just tell you, and you read over it really quick, and you move along, and you think you know it, and then you don't, and you say that guy's strategy is crap. I read it. Sounds like junk to me. So you got to watch. All right. On this one, I can get lost, so if I start talking too much, I can end up getting lost here. So I got to keep my finger on my page to tell me what to do. This one I think is going to reduce some of the anxiety that you get from. I mean, you still have to have a thousand dollars in this one, so not like you're, you know, getting off easy here. You got to come with a thousand dollars to play. That's a lot for most of us. Let's see how this one does. See if we go on any big losing streaks here where this thing can hold up. Okay, looks like we're just, it's a little bit slower, you've noticed. Martin Gell is a lot more aggressive, of course. I've always got to come up with something eventually that suits more of my style, which is not the fighting tiger. I, I got rid of that guy when I was young. Now I look for something that can sort of reduce my exposure minimize it a little bit it may mean that I have to stay at the table for a longer amount of time but that's fine I'd rather stay at the table a longer amount of time and and work for it <laughs> than get in have to put down a shit pot of money and just sit there you know praying to God he doesn't hit a streak and wipe me out so this is the rebuttal back to Martingale you'll notice some tendencies here it, it has some tendencies that almost look Fibonacci in style there is a hint for you but it's really not we haven't got far enough into it for you to even see anything yet. All we're doing here is winning right now. You see our winnings are just slowly coming up, though. They're not, they're not nearly as dramatic. See, we're at 25 now. Oh, crap. I messed that one up, didn't I? F word. We're going to have to jump into this then in midstream. Now you'll get to see a little bit of it. Guess you're going to test it. This is the way to do it. Really? A tie on a nine? Come on. All right, definitely being tested right now. Had I not made that mistake, we wouldn't be at 120, we'd be at 60 right now. Some bitch, 240 is our next one. Now this is reminiscent of Martin Gill, isn't it? It's because right now it is. It just morphed into a Martin Gill. 
This one goes nine in a row, however. So we're back to up again. That I didn't like. This one, where you saw in the uh, Fighting Tiger style, I had to lay a bet of $1,280. And this one, the maximum bet you would have to lay is $480. So your total loss would be if you went, if the house went on a streak and won nine in a row, you'd be out $960. But he has to go nine in a row. It can happen. Like we've seen it happen already. So, yes, it can happen. But at least this way, instead of losing $2,500, you've lost $960. As I said, you might have to sit there a little bit longer and work for it. Um, and you could make the argument that the longer you sit, there is a chance he's going to hit that nine in a row. So there is that. It's true. But but still, you know, you've limited your exposure. And then here we go again. He's going to go on a little bit of a streak. Let's see if we can put that down. So this would be one, two, three, four. So he's gone five in a row. Oh, shit. Really? On an eight? That's when I start getting nervous. This is when the crocodiles have entered the water. This is when I start. My buddy is saying, hey, I got a bad feeling about this. It's time to get out. We got to go. This, this isn't working. I got a bad, bad feeling. And then you're like, shut up, man. You're putting burnt bread on me. <laughs> I'm going to kill you if I lose this one. I will kill you. Oh, thank God. See, I told you, shut up. Get away from me. I'm up. I'm up 40 bucks. And he's like, man, I'm telling you, you got to go. All right, I'll take my 40 bucks. I'll go. I probably would, too. <laughs> Just hearing all that negativity. I'm out of here. Banker wins on an... Look, when you get natural eight and he gets a nine, you know, crocodiles are circling, man. I just feel him. But that's okay. I want to test this out. I got to know. Let's see if we get canned. Let's see if we can hold up. Crocs in the water. See, it's much slower, guys. Look at that. We're just like ha almost halfway there now. It's definitely much slower than Martingale. If we played the Martingale, we'd probably be there right now. My Fighting Tiger would have already had this in the back. So we've definitely slowed down. The trajectory here. We've slowed it down and given the house. Now we're giving him more chances to get his crocs in the water and take us down. But, as I said again, we've limited our exposure by over half, which means something to me. So I'm not sure what animal I'll use, what style this would be under. This isn't my elephant style. My elephant's more like a plotter. He's more like... Th this is m maybe even too aggressive for my elephant style. So i got to find a character... This definitely isn't rabbit. Tiger's way too aggressive for this. I'll think on that one. And back to five. Here we are. Now we're halfway there. So as I said, we would have already been done by now. How many minutes are we into this? Look, we're almost like eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes in. Yeah, normally when we're playing full up fighting tiger style, Martingale, we are um, we're we're at our hundred dollars in five minutes remember if you just you got to see the big picture here guys what what you're doing essentially just always keep this in mind when you're walking up to the table and you're playing any system you take your entire your entire bankroll first okay have that in your head Let's say it's thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, hundred dollars, whatever it is, that's in your head, and and then you have to ask yourself, is the strategy I'm about to play, can it hold up with my bankroll to a, you know, a streak? 
can it hold up to five in a row, ten in a row, twelve? It, it all depends on what you decided your comfort level is, right? So if you say, I don't think he can go five in a row, then just know whatever your bankroll is, that's what you have wagered. And as soon as he does it, you lose. So that that's all this is about. It doesn't matter per hand. It doesn't matter uh, how long you've been sitting there. It doesn't until you, I mean, once you've established what your goal is, you say, "I'm going to win five hundred dollars, and I'm going to sit here until I win five hundred dollars." Okay. Well, just keep in mind. All right. So this is ten minutes. I'm going to keep going. Let's set, let's do this again for another ten. So we would have already probably been up two hundred dollars by now. We're up sixty. Right? Did I reset that? Yeah, here we go. Okay, back to what I was saying. So you say you're going to win five hundred bucks. You're going to sit there until that happens. The wager is your bankroll or five hundred. Just keep it that clear. That's all it's about. And you can never even relax until one of those two things happen. And also, I would tell you, um, be fully prepared that the, the chances are he's going to take your bankroll. <laughs> so just decide that what's in your pocket, what you came to play with, is what you can afford to lose. If you walk out, you get out of the crocodile den without being discovered, then then just count it as luck. And you and Monkey can run off into the sunset together. You and my other character, the flying monkey. <laughs> you guys can dance off into the horizon with your winnings. Back onto the journey of life. Oh young traveler, you've come against the kingdom against the, the great and powerful Oz and you've won <laughs> you get to go back and tell your friends how you slayed the dragon at the casino but one of those two things is going to happen this is a fight man it's a bloody nasty fight ok so look here we are again Still, we're at $75 now we're 12 minutes into it I mean we definitely would have been up 200 bucks by now so again, slower system, much slower strategy. Let's not call it a system, a strategy, right? To minimize our losses, that's what I'm all about. Yes, we do know there is no strategy. There is no system that will win against the casino over a long period of time. Duh, we know this. Hopefully you do anyway. If you're listening to my channel and you are new to this whole game of, of, of gambling, but that's what it's all about. We all know that this can happen. Remember, crocodiles. That's the banker. Next hand, last of the shoe. We never see that when we're playing Martin Gill, right? And normally we've won our money or we've gone bust. And we've only seen the Martin Gill, by the way, guys. If you haven't been following, you've only seen the Martin Gill, my fighting tiger style. You've only seen him lose one time out of like 12 or 14 sessions now. Yeah. But remember, when the loss came, it was devastating. All right, we're almost there. We're just plugging away. I'm liking this one, really. It just makes my pucker factor kind of go down a little bit. Not so intense like Fighting Tiger, where you're just terrified the entire time you're going to get wiped out $2,500. I mean, 960 is a considerable amount. No, no doubt about that. For me, that's a lot of money. I don't make a lot of money, guys. <laughs> I'm definitely not a high roller. Okay, we're at 90 now. I think we'll make it here with this one. Um, well, it's way too early to talk now. We'll just keep. We'll just keep going. Who knows? Let's see. He might hit a streak. Very rare to see nine in a row. I've seen plenty fives, sixes, and sevens. I've seen those. But nine, nine is pretty rare, guys. 
So that, you know, there you go. That would be an example. That's my wager. I'm saying, banker, I come, I stand before you, challenge you to this duel. I say you can't go nine in a row. And the banker says, step up, young man. <laughs> Let me show you this trick. Reaches down into his bag. Right? And he does his thing, and he either wins or he loses. And if he, if you, he loses, he says, well done, young traveler. You may continue on your journey. <laughs> and again, you and Monkey go off into the horizon. Hand in hand, skipping along. All right, we're at $95. Is this it? Look at this, guys. Finally, we arrive. $100. There it is. $100 session. Stop the clock. Took 15 minutes. Okay, so if this is any indication, it takes three times as long uh, playing this strategy. Now, I haven't, I haven't come up with a name for this yet. If any of you have found that there is this exact strategy out there, someone, some mathematician or statistician came up with this, then let me know. I don't know of any. I sit here and play. You should see, you should see the stuff I come up with. I've got notepads full of just random things that I try. And uh, <laughs> some of it's quite humorous when I look back on it. You know, sometimes I think I'm really on to something and then I'll break it apart. Um, I can give you a clue though, most of the time my strategies are staying within uh, nine in a row. That's my sweet spot. And that's based on my numbers having seen hundreds, thousands of hands, right? I sit and play random number generators like this. I play the ones over at Bovada, Ignition Casino. Um, what's the other one? I had it on the last video. Look it, look it up. Casino Top 10 website, something like that. They had one. I played that. So I mix it up a little bit. But thousands of hands. I don't know how many hours. Lots and lots. And I just sit here trying out various strategies. So... Um, nine is where I feel most comfortable that if I'm going to go up against the great powerful Oz, um, I can tell him and look him right in the eye, I don't think you can beat me. I'm going to wage $960 in this example. I have $1,000 per se. Let's say I have $1,000 great casino. I am standing in front of you. I take you on. I, I offer you this challenge. Either... I will walk away with $100 in 15 minutes, or you will beat me and take my bankroll. But I'll bet you can't win nine times in a row. And that's what it is. That's where I'm most comfortable uh, most of the time. If you watch one of my strategies I've come up with, that's what it's going to be. So I'm not sure, again, what, what character I'm going to assign to this. Um, but this is an example, it looks like, so far in beta testing successful 15 minutes uh, hundred dollars now oh yeah don't forget though guys <laughs> this is speed play speed play baccarat you go to a casino they're obviously not dealing this fast this is eight to ten hands per minute we're in the casino you're gonna get two hands a minute max right and that's at speed baccarat on the table two hands a minute so whatever my number is you've got to multiply that by four or five. Okay, so 15 minutes is actually an hour or an hour 15 minutes, call it. So take you about it. Would, so the question would be, would you sit at the table, take on the house, have your $960 bankroll, would you take on the house and make $100? Would you be happy with that? Then the next question is, can you do that 10 times? 10 hours. You need to sit there for 10 hours over a course of a weekend, two weekends, however, or I don't recommend online play unless you do live table. Remember, I don't recommend any software. I'm sorry. I don't like it. It's too scary. Play live table. Maybe that's a different thing. Or you're playing in casino. You've got to be willing to sit there for, say, 10 hours at that point, you have $1,000 in your pocket now, right? So that $1,000 in your pocket, 
Now you can put your $960 back into your bank account. Now you've got his $1,000 in your pocket. Now you can either switch to another strategy and get out because you know the crocodiles are coming and want to get out of that stream. He's about to turn on you and, and take his money back. So switch to something else. Or you come back to him again and say, okay, great and powerful loss. I have your $1,000. I'll bet you can't do it again. Right? Just put that visual in your mind. You're holding up your 1000 right to his face, saying, I bet you can't do it again. And he says, good, sit down. Let's try it. That's how it works. That's, that's the secret, guys, of this whole thing called gambling. That's all it is. It's that simple. If you're going to play any strategies, that is. Now, if you're going to do rabbit style and you've got you play hunches and this and that, then you know I can't help you. I have no idea. That that's when you start tapping into some weird shit. I know nothing about the universe and you know I don't know. And there's some hey there's I'm just looking at a little bit of the Asian uh, culture. Some of you guys out there might be Asian. You could school us here on. Man, there's like things like, did you know the number four means death? Did you know that? Yeah. Ask one of your Asian buddies if they if they walked up to a Baccarat table and saw a number four. <laughs> anywhere near a Baccarat table if they would sit down. Here's the answer. Uh, fuck no. I'm not sitting down. That's death on that table. So, you know, if you got people that play like that, man, and sometimes those people will blow your mind. You're playing, working hard, trying to make this money, you know, eke out a living. And you're like, where are you at? And they're like, man, I'm up like five grand. Yeah, because they play. So, you know, I can't help you with that. I don't know how that works. <laughs> but anyway, that's all Camly comes down to. Keep that in mind. You take your bankroll. You stand up to the casino. I have this. I'll bet you can't do that. And he says, sit down. And, and he's not afraid. So... Anyway, guys, I'll go ahead and get this one posted. Hopefully it was entertaining for you. I'm having fun doing this. I saw I picked up some new subscribers here. It's a brand new channel, essentially. Um, so it's glad I'm glad to have you guys here. I think we're going to have some fun as I develop my characters. I'll tell you more about them. We're going to do some fun stuff with that. Um, websites. We're going to do merchandise. We're going to do all kinds of cool stuff. This is just to have fun, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? That's what I do this channel for. I'm not selling you anything. I'm not trying to. <laughs> but I'm trying to tell you I'm some great, powerful guru here. We're just having some fun together, and I'm hoping to work out some things for you here on the table so you can see it before you walk into a casino. You can keep your money in your pocket unless you're willing to wager it and, and take him on, like I said. Keep it in your pocket and, and get it out of your system here. Right? All right, so I'll see you guys again on the next one. I'm going to be. Uh, coming back to the Martingale, straight Martingale with my fighting tiger character who's going to jump back into the waters, into that powerful current, and take on the crocodiles. We're going to hopefully zip in the water and get in, get out, get ourselves back to even so we can decide whether or not we keep going with the Martingale. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend.